All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Wooden Battles. We've got a new update with a new unit. All right, guys, so the new unit is called the Musketeer. Now, he actually has a musket, so he's aptly named. However, it's not like the three musketeers. We, we, we are French. There ain't no Frenchmen around here. No, nope. we are going to, <clears throat> as Stonewall Jackson would say, give him the bayonet. We got bayonets on our muskets. Present arms in March. All right, so this should be pretty sweet. We got them musketeers. Oh, well, I did wave mode, and then I realized that... You know what? I was hoping that they would just charge them. Oh, my God! They bum rush! Holy crap! That actually worked? These guys are amazing! So some of them just bum rushed, and the rest sat there and fired. I, I can't figure out why some did and some didn't. Oh, what? His... His... <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> what is that? He's like, I don't even know what to call it. His uh, chest belts? Yes, his belt chests. All right, so obviously what we got to do here is real simple. We're going to get offense. We're going to get red team. And we're going to make one giant line of musketeers. Then guess what we're going to do? We're going to go to blue team. We're going to get a giant line of musketeers. And we will have this. This will be a clash of titans. All right, boys. I want you... I don't... I. Like, these guys run so fast. These guys are full. <laughs> and it's just absolute chaos. So that right there actually kind of reminded me of tabs for a second. But, like, the the movement, the melee. Oh, man, they, they get to just keep going. Oh, dude, he... Wait, what? He turned on him. How is it that the red team has that many more? All right. We know the rules in battle simulator games. Sometimes you just got to do best out of three to see... Is it random, or is one team, is there a color bias? Is this game biased towards the red team? Did we even put, wow. Right here, this definitely looks like a blue victory. They've got four units, make that three. Oh, one blue guy versus one red guy, and he got him. All right, we're gonna keep the units and we're gonna do it again. All right, so, I think, Eight seven seven two zero zero. Ooh, there's a difference. There is one extra blue guy. That means we gotta make one extra red guy. We this is. I mean, who came up with this scientific method if it's not even that scientific? So now, wait a minute. What? There we go. We're good to go. All right. So now, best out of three, and it's actually even. But yeah, like this is kind of chaos. And look at that. The 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 waves kind of buckle. Was that like? Did they? clone themselves? I need to see that again. This one looks like Red's got this one handily. Just a few guys left. All right. I want to take a closer look, but I love this unit. I got to say that this is really cool. Do they clone themselves and some charge or like, how does it work? Because it looked kind of like that. No, well, no, no. I guess most of them did just bum rush with their bayonets, but this, this presents a really cool situation. I wonder if there's new missions to fit the new units, and if so, we gotta check them out. We gotta check them out. What do we got? All right, gentlemen, I want you to charge. Charge! <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the missions. Mission 15. All right, remember, wasn't this the mission that broke our brains? I know, I got an idea. What we're gonna do here is... Oh, well, that, that, if that's all we got, screw it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. those guys had no chance. All right, so the bayonets don't really work too well against armored musketoons, AKA the shotgun of the old world. You gotta, you gotta get out there, use your shotgun, shoot some scrapnel. Look, I love how their little pieces, their chest belts just don't work. All right, so clearly, I want these guys to fire. Now now we're back to the last thing where we're trying to get these guys to actually win. Man, we ain't got the money for this. Bada bee da da da. Alright, so what do we want? What do we want? What do we got? What do we want? Maybe if I could put these guys out of range. Oh my god, that's a ton of money. I do want some bayonets. I mean this is all about the bayonet. I'm gonna have bayonets over here. And some bayonets over here. Then we're gonna go snipers. We're gonna lose so badly. I have no idea how you're supposed to win this one. I think we got close. But I want to see how many missions you can beat 
just by using the bayonet challenge. This is going to be bayonets only challenge now that we've seen how futile mission 15 is. Because you got to build bases. It's all about them bases. Clear the bodies. See, if we clear the bodies, it never happened. Ah, oh, mission one. Fantastic. Bayonets only. Oh my god. This is not going to work either. Well, ta da! It failed. Missions. Mission two. Bayonets only. So these, these guys may be too expensive. Charge the enemy position! I wish I could have a cheat code to give me more money so I could be like, Oh look, we totally did it! But now with the bayonets only, it don't seem like a viable stratagem. And as a result, our men are brilliantly and bravely... Wow, did you just kill yourself on a brick? He's like, I'm gonna walk casually. All right, well, you know, there's that. We don't have... There's no way to customize them then because there are no challenges for the bayonets. But I wonder, I mean, what do we do now? Turf war. Oh man, I want, can you do bayonet guys? You can't. Son of a nut. We shall give them the bayonet as well as the wave mode. Yeah, so this is weird. Turf war. Oh really? I, and then you gotta love the AI that just, oh, you know what we gotta do is have like a thousand bayonets charging the miniguns. We have found our purpose in life. Alas. We must give them the bayonet. They got a couple Gatling guns. This is like the last samurai, except without the cavalry, without the samurai, and actually just instead of samurai, we just got guys with bayonets. So this is really not at all like the last samurai. It's just Stonewall Jackson. Stonewall Jackson? Did I say Stonewall Jackson? All right, that's the strategy. Fire lots of rockets, don't do anything, really. That's really disappointing, actually. We got rid of those snipers, though, and now the musketeers should be charging. Oh my gosh, they do so poorly against some of these units. Look at them, look at them just, just getting crap. Oh, we got friendly fire though. We got that going for us. Clear the bodies so we can focus on how many units we have, which is zero. I said zero. Oh my God, really? Hey, nice work. Well, we don't have as many musketeers in this one because I'm actually trying to beat the challenge. So I decided to put a strong wall in the middle here to absorb the enemy artillery and Gatling gunfire. I think we got this one. Do we have any musketeers? Well, the only musketeers are over here. There's none alive. Musketeers, you fought bravely, you're dead. R ripperoni, ripperoni. Oh man, we're not gonna win. We are not gonna win unless like a rocket goes off and destroys these guys. Or a grenade. We have some. There they are! Cue the grenade throws that are very poor, but we did it! We done did it. I don't think... I don't think that... Ooh. I don't think there's a way to do this. You know what? It, where, where there's a will, there's a way. So what we're gonna do is do massive rockets. Oh yeah, this is... We're gonna have some mortars, obviously, because mortars are lovely and I love them. So what we're gonna do there is... Oh man, we can actually afford... Ooh, a decent amount of musketeers. Let's see how this works. Oh, what, what was that? What were those things? What on earth were those things that fired? I saw something in the air. That was weird, was that a glitch? Now our musketeers are charging. The mortars are doing their thing. These musketeers though, they kind of just stagnate on these bricks. Oh boys, heads up for the friendly fire. Yeah, I love that. Oh, they're, they're actually shooting the bricks out of the way. I think we could win this one, even though we're bayonet charging uh, a defensive fortification. So the AI, you know, they're like, oh, you know, sometimes we may want to throw bayonets at walls, and other times we may want to shoot them. It just really all depends on our mood that day. Lovely shot, mate. But I don't think we're going to have enough, because eventually these mortars will explode. The rockets didn't seem to work either, so maybe instead of the Katusha Mother Russia rockets, we may want traditional cannons. That way we could have a combined artillery that will at least survive for a while. Wait, who's left alive? And the last musketeer. See, just like the last samurai. We had a last musketeer. All right, we need cannons. Cannons, please. Oh, they're 900? Well, I guess that's cheaper than the Katushas. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna bring in a little more heavy ordnance this time. And we'll have this guy on the side here. And then this guy over here, and we want some armored soldiers to distract, you know, and discourage the enemy. Now, obviously, we need the mortars. We're gonna have the mortars up here. We're gonna get four of them in here. And then the rest is all musketeers. We shall use the bayonets because, oh my god. 
We are running low on manpower, so we need to regular muskets. I'm not sure if the musketeers really make sense. They're cool, but bang for your buck. Wouldn't you want three regular musketmen to... instead of one musketeer? I wouldn't even say yeah. So maybe their price needs to be adjusted to like, oh, wow, lovely shots, Mr. Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude, man. Oh, look at this guy. Like, yeah, dude, I love my job. I'm just gonna... Uh, I got ri he got literally ripped in half. Look, you can see his... Oh, God, I think that's his stomach, and it looks like he just ate straight ketchup all day. That's not even part of a healthy diet. No wonder he charged himself at the enemy position here. Oh, there's medics. How rude is that? Oh, these guys are actually getting up in there and distracting him. Look at that. Shoot that guy. Oh, never mind. Avalanche! I think we got this for sure. Depends. If our guys- this one single musket man is alive. I love it. Yeah, I think the musketeer's price might need to be adjusted. It's cool that they can run and do melee, but like, three to one. Yeah! Oh god. Oh great Scott. Now what if like- here we go. I'm gonna try this. What if we just did this, and then another wave? I just wanna- I, I wanna do some math. I wanna do some math tricks. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> There's too many, like, big explodey things. Oh my god, muskets are flying behind us. This is absolute carnage. Oh yeah, and these guys are real good. We need- yeah, might, yeah, might. Alright, so what we do is we do some splodish. Some very good splodish over here. And hope that our guys do it. Grenadiers usually suck, so I'm gonna use some of them because, uh, you know what, I like the challenge. And these guys are more or less just to, like, distract them from shooting these, right? That, that's the idea. Maybe some mortars, yes. And then some of these guys down the middle. Diddle diddle Ray Rice down the middle. Ain't that what they used to say about the Baltimore Ravens football stratagems? Do you guys, there's, there's no way. This is not gonna work. So, obviously we gotta try it. Mission Impossible. Oh, that kind of worked. Oh my god, please don't fire right now. Please don't fire. That wheel is might block you. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, okay, yep. See, there you go. Those things are very erratic. Dude, the block is falling from space! Yeah, there's not a chance we win this. I mean, there's a chance. It's just very, very poor. And by that, I mean, if we can take these guns out and we still have mortars in play for that back line. Oh, they got mortars. Didn't we do a mortars only strategy? I think we did that one time when the mortars were new. These poor guys, one one well-placed mortar and they're done. Then then the musketeers charge, they're not good at walls, so walls automatically deny the power of the musketeer. I think they'd be good for like maybe 150, maybe 125 even. I don't think the ability to charge with a bayonet is worth. Is worth. Is it worth? Alright, here we go. Heavy explosions. We need massive explosions. You need to hit them with your rockets, you ninnies. Don't let the split to man, you son of a biscuit. There we go. That rocket man did brave work. And he's dead. He fought the brave fight and he is most definitely dead. Look at that. Easy peasy, boys. So our musket- Oh, okay, good. We took down the left tower. The right tower is still up. This cannon- I, I can't actually tell. His wheels are twerkity twerking. Look at this. Look at this. What's happening? Oh, hello, Baron. I've just had a little bit too much of the caffeine today. I had some of your cold brew coffee you're making, and that stuff is heavily caffeinated. Well, that did not work. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, build a giant kid's fortress to give us the edge we need. I want to put these things up here, because you know what? Why not? I don't know if this is going to work. I've actually never put them on these things before. So it should be real interesting to see what happens. Maybe it totally distracts them. Maybe this is a terrible idea. Maybe it's pure genius. I'm gonna put these little sneaky dudes here. They might blow up the legs of the walls, or of the towers, and cause an absolute collapse and really embarrass me and my tactical acumen, but then again, maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. All right, I want, I want some of these guys here. Yeah. A full line of ninnies. Some musketeers, because they gotta be in it, because that's the new unit, even though they're very heavily prized, you can tell. I'm beating a dead horse. Alright, this is totally gonna work. Just build stupid down. <laughs> this guy surfed a brick! Oh, this thing's actually alive. Oh, they- <laughs> Oh, they survive! Look at that, that guy rode the cannon, watch out! Watch out! Oh yeah, just hide behind it. Is this working? 
This is some wonky stuff. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, they can actually... Oh, oh. He's hiding. Boom! Oh, really? That sucked. That was anticlimactic. Oh, Bayonet! Oh! <laughs> can someone please destroy this with explosives? Cannon's like, oh, say no more, brother. And I'm like, man, we got a bunch of musketeers against Gatling guns. This is bad. This is bad. What about... Here we go. What about an officer with some of these guys? We're gonna do... Oh, Napoleon? Let's do Napoleon. Napoleonic bayonet. We tried the Stonewall Jackson bayonet. Now we're gonna do... Oh, this is gonna be glorious. And actually, let's get... What can I get for $600? Another officer. Perfect! See? <laughs> he immediately got wrecked. And now... Oh, dude! Friendly fire incidents! Get him, boys! Fix bayonets. Oh, look at this. We got like five guys left. We're totally dead. That thing somehow blew itself up. I have no idea how, but I love it. All right, let's see if this works. We have an officer, and my gosh, our officers needed for un inaccurate artillery work. The Gatling guns are fantastic at taking out those armored dudes. Now, how's this? This is more or less a distraction where I was hoping there were some rocket men on the side that were going to destroy this, but we got this guy. That was probably a bad idea to put him over there. And now everything's falling apart. Things fall apart. That was a book I felt like I had to read in English class in, like, high school. We just don't have enough money. Even with officers, they're not accurate enough. These missions are ridiculous. I protest. It's totally gonna work. <laughs> Musketeers are are cool. They're just overpriced. They really are a lot of. Uh, they are really cool. And I also like how this game is testing its metal at uh, melee combat, because now I think you could act. At, like at a samurai unit and then you could take this kind of Napoleonic era and then you could do like you know the fall of the samurai or like what did they call it the fall the fall of samurai was the total war game and the last samurai was where Tom Cruise historically accurate a white dude was the last samurai you know it's just the way it works it's just Tom Cruise is always the most important dude in the universe and snipers dead so guys in turn I really like this. I'm glad that we have this new one. This new unit. The Bayonet. Because we shall give them the Bayonet. Can do so many things with this unit. But not buy very many of them is another thing about it. But melee combat has come to wooden battles. This is starting to become a battle simulator with some real flavor to it. I like how it's been updated. I'm not sure the development team size. I'm assuming it's like one or two people. But I hope that we get more updates in the future. I hope we get... It'd be fun to allow a Steam Workshop support for the units. I think that would be really cool. That guy just got two of them. Like, imagine that. Imagine if we were able to kind of, like, have what we needed in a Steam Workshop to basically make our own units. Any kind of artillery. Make them silly. Give someone a six-shooter pistol. You know, a peacemaker, a five-shooter, like the revolvers, man. Give them, like, all kinds of stuff. Like have like World War One, World War Two theme stuff. Like if you were to do that, I dare say, wooden battles. I think for small team indie development, I will I will take this to the grave. Small team indie development de indie developers, excuse me while I use my words properly. I tell you what, let us help you make the game. I'm telling you, man, it'll have a longer shelf life, you'll get more sales, and we will enjoy it more. I mean that is called sexiness. All right, guys. Well, I hope you did enjoy it on this updated video on Wooden Battles where we did see the bayonets. Hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.